Hi friends, welcome to my channel and in this video today I am going to show you how to install System Center Operation Manager 2019 which is known as a SCOM step by step full. So SCOM is a basically a which is known as a Operation Manager is a one of the powerful tool for the uh, organizations to monitor their infrastructure. So SCOM can monitor all the hardware devices like like if you have a network, if you have a network device, route uh, like uh, like a switch router, or if you having any hardware devices like a, like a physical server, um, or maybe maybe storage. So SCOM can monitor everything which is comes under your data center infrastructure. So be it be it uh, like Linux operating system, Unix operating system, any Unix operating system it can monitor windows all the application level monitoring you can do you can do the services level monitoring so everything which you can think about scom can monitor those things so this is most powerful tool if you talk about the um, monitoring of the organization uh, infrastructure so in this uh, environment i am going to create only two machines for this demo so so basically my first machine is Actuidactive and DNS server which is win 2 k 19 dc 01 so you can see IP address is 192.168.1.101 and this is on my labsandson.com domain so here you go this is my win 2 k 19 dc 01 and you can see the domain name and you can see Actuidactive and DNS role is running on this machine and the second machine is uh, itself going to be SCOM server where we are going to install and configure our SCOM server. So this is this is the host name is Win2K19 hyphen SCOM and IP address is 192.168.1.107 and this is also joined in my labsandson.com domain and I have given 4 gig of memory uh, 4, 4 CPU and 16 gig of memory so recommendation um, if you are running a large infrastructure or um, maybe a medium size infrastructure I recommend you to give at least the 4 core and 16 gig memory for this com server however you can do the installation with a minimum like 2 cores or a 4 gig of memory also so here is my SCOM server so this is a brand new machine I have just installed uh, Windows Server 2019 standard and I have joined this machine configure the IP address and join this machine in domain you can see this is on my lab sensor.com domain and I have done the uh, Windows patching on this machine so this is uh, completely passed with the latest updates from the Microsoft and a part of this I have logged in with the SCOM admin account which is basically my service account so if I if you see here who am I so I'm basically a lab sense on SCOM admin which is basically uh, you can say the service account or the administrator account for SCOM so you you need to create one service account for the SCOM to run ser SCOM services like uh, like you you can set the database to run from the this particular account you can set the other SCOM server services to run from this account so so you need one service account at a minimum one service account so now installation of system center operation manager 2019 step by step so I have divided this inst complete installation in five uh, five part basically uh, you can say and and uh, a six part basically you can say and the last one is going to be actual installation for his com installation and first five is going to be a, we are going to basically uh, make the environment to go 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 live for the installation of uh, scom 2019 so the first task is uh, install required role and feature so you can you can pause the recording and you can uh, video and you can see these uh, basically uh, uh, commands which we are going to install now so if I go here I have already copied this uh, command on my desktop of this com server so this is what I'm going to run so I am going to copy this and going to run PowerShell as administrator and then just click and hit enter so this is going to install all the required feature uh, roles and feature for this so b this is basically going to install a web server IS role on this machine itself and then 
once the installation is done if uh, the uh, this require a reboot then we have um, set the auto reboot if it's required reboot it's going to reboot else if it's uh, uh, does uh, the installation does not require reboot then we are uh, we will get the option here to proceed with the further steps which is our step 2 so on a step 2 we need to install Microsoft report via 20, uh, 2015 runtime and uh, s Microsoft system CLR type for SQL uh, server 2014 so I have downloaded these t uh, all the required component here you can see in my download folder so th these are the uh, CRL type and these are the report viewer so I'm going to run the East 3 installation once this is done so just wait for some time this is going to take uh, I think less than one minute to get the installation complete so now you can see the installation is succeeded and it does not require a reboot so we can go ahead and close this PowerShell and now if I refresh my dashboard you will see here IS is installed also you can verify a few others like features has been installed so like dotnet is installed so few other uh, features is installed which is listed here in the uh, text file which we have uh, run on the powershell so now let's move to next step uh, install report view 2015 so i'm going to run this setup so this is require a sql uh, crl first so i'm going to install those first and then going to run this so I am installing 32 bit and 64 bit both on my machine so 64 bit is done now 32 bit I am going to install so these are very lightweight application it does not take long time to install now we are good to run the report viewer uh, 2015 runtime. this is also not going to take long time I guess finish so we are done with now step 2 also and now on the step 3 we need to install Microsoft's uh, SQL server basically with the below features so I am going to mount the SQL server 2017 media here so I am going to install SQL server 2017 so Yes, so repository SQL server and then I'm going to select the SQL server 2017 open it so now so now I'm going to run the setup so this will launch the SQL server installation center so now I'm going to click on new SQL Server standalone installation so click on it I am going to get the installation done for with the evaluation version which is 180 days uh, trial you can say and just check for the update also so now also we need to install the reporting services here you can see so basically reporting services does not come with the SQL Server 2017 so you need to download it separately so here is the link you can go here and download like you can see looking for reporting services download it here from internet so I have already downloaded it here you can see also you can see the uh, management studio is not listed here because now Microsoft is providing separate setup for SQL Server management studio which I have already downloaded so both things is downloaded so I need to install a database engine and full text and some metric extraction for search and I'm going to put the default path for the installation directory and now the instance name I also I'm going to leave the default now here on the services I'm going to make it like labs hands on scom admin going to give this to run as a scom admin and also database engine I'm going to set both 
and then I'm going to give uh, uh, rights to perform a maintenance task on a SQL Server database engine. So click next now, and I'm going to add my current account as a Windows authentication for the SQL Server. Now you can see Scrum admin is added. Click next, and now we have done um, all the pre-requests, and now we are good to go and click on install button so this will begin the installation for SQL Server 2017 and once this installation is done I will go ahead and install the management studio and then we will follow up with the installation of 2017 reporting services so this is going to take few minutes so I'm going to pause the recording and once the installation is done for SQL Server 2017 I will resume from there. So now dat our database server is ready so we have installed successfully SQL Server 2017 so I am going to close these solution wizard and now I am going to run the installation for SQL Server Management Studio so I have already downloaded here so I am going to run this setup so this is basically a um, straightforward installation it does only required a, a one click which is installed and it's automatically going to install the uh, Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio and you can see the I'm installing the uh, latest version which is release number 18.6 so click on install so now this is not going to take long so this is also pretty fast so now once this installation is done we will proceed with the uh, SQL Server reporting server uh, reporting services installation So let's wait for installation to be finished and then we will proceed with the installation uh, for the reporting services. So now you can see the installation uh, reboot is required to finish the installation so I am going to close this and once the reporting services installation is done then I am going to take the reboot for this machine. So just click on this reporting services now click on install reporting services uh, I am going to install this also as a evaluation version so click next and I accept the license terms install reporting services only and click on install and now this installation will begin so now I'm uh, I have downloaded the SCOM 2019 evaluation version so I'm just going to run this setup and extract the installation file in my C drive so welcome to the operation manager 2019 setup wizard so I'm going to extract it uh, on C drive system center operation manager 2019 so now you can see this um, installation is done and now it will ask you to restart your computer and run the configuration manager to configure reporting server so I'm going to reboot once this extraction is done so we are basically uh, done with the step 5 but the only thing is uh, need to, uh, we are left uh, in step 5 to configure the reporting services which we will do after reboot so I'm going to now reboot this server so now it's rebooting so once the server is rebooted you need to give some time to all the services to come up online like SQL server and other services which we have installed to make sure uh, before configuring the uh, configuring the report uh, reporting services everything is back online and it's in healthy status so I can see all the services star started no warning on the server manager so we are good so now you can see here we have reporting server configuration manager so I'm going to click on this so now this is reporting uh, reporting server instance by default it's take SSRS name so we are going to click on connect so now you can see the reporting um, reporting server configuration manager reconnected but when we go to dashboard you can see there was no database on the 
database space so first I'm going to create this uh, link the service account with this account so my service account is labs hands on scom admin and password for this account I'm going to click on apply so now you can see the task completed successfully so this is good now we can proceed further for the uh, like this web server URL web services URL so these are the already set if you want to change the URL then definitely if you change anything here in the virtual directory it's going to change here so let's create the reporting server database so I'm going to click on change database and then create a new reporting report server database click next and then you can see this is our server name and user is current uh, current user so I'm going to test that so you can see the test connection succeeded now click next and now you can see uh, type the name so I'm going to type here like scom2019 2019 report DB and click next and credential I'm going to leave it to service account which was we have configured here and now we are done just click on next and now you will see everything is going to be succeeded and our database is going to be created so this is going to take few seconds only so now this is done now if I click on finish you can see task completed successfully so you can see now the database name and the service account everything so now let's click on apply so we are done with this so if I click exit now we have completed all the pre requests now the final task is left which is run the SCOM 2019 installation so I have already extracted the setup here you can see under the C drive so I'm going to run the setup now so now if you want to download the latest update for the setup program you can do it else you just need to click on install so it's going to launch the installation uh, wizard for the SCOM 2019 now what what things you want to install so I'm going to install all the rules here so just going to select everything like management server operational console web server and reporting services now click next this is the default location for the installation so I'm going to leave it default and now the uh, you can see the all prerequests have passed so if anything is missing you will see here and also you can see the full system requirement what is there like, like it will tell you all the all the hardware and software requirement and also you can see uh, capacity limit for operation manager what it can do so this as I told this is this is just made for the very large infrastructure so you don't need to about the capacity and you can see the upgrade sequence hardware requirement and everything like management server for for gateway web server uh, so uh, uh, all other server uh, details is given here like SQL server reporting services server so it's required minimum 8 gig and 10 gig of disk space software requirement we have so everything is written here you can go through this document so this document will explain you everything about the installation so now next click on next so now uh, it will ask you to create the basically a management group so uh, my first management group I am going to call it like LHO main you can say uh, which is going to be my head office for for the site uh, I accept the license but now it will ask you to uh, configure the operational database so I'm going to give it my server name win 2 k 19 scom so this is going to be my server name so you can see it's automatically going to detect uh, the path and everything for the SQL server so uh, operational uh, operation manager is going to be default name so if you want you can change the database name so I'm going to call it scom2019 db db and you can see I am opening the 
SQL Server Management Studio in background to check and database size limit uh, uh, database size is go initially going to be a 1000 MB so click next and now it will ask you the uh, database warehouse data uh, configure the data warehouse uh, database instance so I'm going to use the same for the Win2K19 SCOM and this is going to be a SCOM 2019 DW I'm going to use for the data, uh, data warehouse and everything is going to leave default so click next now and it's uh, asking for the SQL Server reporting service instance so we have configured this already so this is ready to go just click on next so it's giving you some warning I was not sure what was the issue I have just restarted the service once and, and everything started working so if you face such issue you can you can always go and check the web service URL as well is working or not so I have just checked and then got a uh, web service URL working and then when I clicked on uh, next it's uh, passed this uh, um, validation successfully so you make sure if you have not rebooted the server after configuring the rebooting services uh, go ahead and take one reboot so it will not going to bother you about this issue so click next now and now here on the uh, on the select authentication mode for the web console I'm going to use the lift uh, uh, mix authentication which provide users to use the windows uh, like normal login ID active directory user account and password so for this this is going to give you um, all the basically you need to provide the service account here so I'm going to use everything as a domain account and the service account I have created one service account for everything if you want to create a, uh, a different service account for each serv each services definitely you can create it so labsense on scom admin and I'm going to type my password these are the basically special type of account which required to perform the um, um, administrative operation for the operation manager like you can see the data retrieval account data write account so everything is there you can provide as per your requirement so just click on, on next and it's fine my account is a domain administrator so I have given since this is lab environment I have given it uh, in but if you are running in your infrastructure you don't give it domain administrator right so click on ok and just click on install and now you can see this is whole wizard which we have gone through during the installation and now just click on install so now this uh, procedure is uh, will install uh, start the installation itself and it will take some time to get the installation done sometime it's uh, depending on the uh, speed of your server or computer it will take time so for me it's going to take around I guess uh, 10 to 15 minutes max uh, maximum and you can see we got our reporting database already created for SCOM and it's going to create all other database soon so you can see SCOM 2019 DB is created then it will create the SCOM 2019 uh, DW which is data warehouse uh, um, database so this is good so I'm going to pause the recording for now and once the installation is done we will write back and we will verify the installation of uh, post installation task for the system center operation manager 2019 so now you can see the installation is finished we got some um, you can say message on for the setting the license for the SCOM so we can config configure it um, once the like uh, this is evaluation so we are not going to do it but if we, you are running on the production environment then you can set the license for the uh, SCOM so now you can see when I am going to click on close this is going to start the operation manager console so also here if you see we got all the database created now 
we got for the reporting we got for the data warehouse and for the database itself for the scom database so now you can see i have logged in with the uh, our up, uh, in our scom manager with the group name management group name lho hyphen main and this is my operation manager so uh, so installation is finished and i will i will create more videos on scom how to configure how to do the post installation task and configure the ad integration and everything for the scom so this is all about how to how to install system center operation manager 2019 so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me on my given mail ids thank you once again bye bye